Hey everybody, it's Jojo, the Joyce Genealogist. How y'all doing? I'm giving you guys an update on my Ohio trip. So, I am at the Morley Farm right now as we speak. And that's what I'm doing today is uh, visiting this farm and the John Johnson Farm. And yesterday I visited Kirtland and the Kirtland Temple. It was really cool. I went to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Visitor Center first. And I didn't know what to expect there. They took you on a little tour, um, which was really cool. Uh, I didn't know if we could, like, walk around freely. But they don't really, like, let you. Um, I mean, you could walk around, but they lock all the buildings after you leave. So they unlock them when you get there. And then they lock them again after you leave. And then I couldn't really do... They, he said I couldn't do any videos of her talking. And I couldn't really do a commentary of each of the rooms of where we, of the buildings we visited, like the Whitley store, the John Johnson Inn, the Whitley home, um, the Ashery, the sawmill. So they, you know, he was waiting for me to like get through each room. I was like the last one. And so with that, uh, um, I just, uh, um, brain farts. <laughs> the people out here are working and I just kind of like lost my train of thought. So, um, I couldn't do a commentary cause he was waiting for me to get eat. I was the last of like the people that were on the tour and they got to keep moving. So, so I did take some pictures and video. So if you guys want to see the clips and the pictures that I'm going to download of this trip, and anything else like this, you definitely want to join the Facebook group I started for this channel. Um, it's called, if you just look up Joyous Genealogist in a group, it's just um, Joyous Genealogist in a Facebook group. You'll find us. It's public. You can join there. I'll also put it in the link in this video. I'll also put it in the link in the description of my channel so you guys can find it. But that group is for us to help is to help us communicate, to help us um, help each other. Like if somebody's got a question about genealogy, there's other people in there that are really good um, and smart. Like if I can't answer a question, I know they can. They're smart. They know this stuff. I got friends who are so good at geneal genealogy. They're amazing. They know way more than I do. But um, so anyways, I'm going to be posting events in the Facebook, Facebook group, things like that that are going on in the library, Roots Tech, genealogy conferences, Things going on with the channel, things going on with me that, you know, pertain to family history and, and what's, you know, the channel and all that. So you definitely want to join the group if you haven't, if you're interested in that. That's what I mean. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you want to see what's going on and stay up to date with the group, join the Facebook group. Or if you want to stay up to date with the channel, that's what I'm saying. All right, so... The Kirtland, um, the Kirtland Visitor Center was really cool. I felt the spirit a lot in the Whitley store upstairs. And they have some wood in that upstairs that is the original wood floor from when Joe Smith was alive. So you can walk on the same floor that he walked on. It's really cool. And then I felt really, I really loved the, um, the school, the prophets, that room. I got some pictures in there. That's cool. And then, um, a room where like his table is, there's a bedroom in the, um, in the Whitley home. There's a bedroom that they gave to Emma. Cause she was pregnant when she got to Kirtland and she was like seven months pregnant. Can you imagine? And, um, so she got the main bedroom and in there there's a chair so when you if you join the facebook group and you see the pictures and i'll post it in the picture there's one chair that's in that room that's the only piece of furniture it's original to joseph smith and emma which is really cool um so it's a spindle chair but uh it was just really neat felt the spirit the kirtland temple was a completely different experience than i thought i didn't know what to expect um i really it's, it's just an old building. I mean, it's an old building. It definitely needs a lot of work. There are people doing painting on the temple. They said they they said they said do because they can't afford for the liability insurance on the temple every year. That they only, they have a person who donates specifically to the temple being painted every two years. And so they'll paint the temple... And get enough donations to pay for the liability, you know, insurance for each side of the temple. For one side of the temple to be painted every two years. And then he was talking about, like, the beams 
the boards that are laid out in the basement that are laid improperly. He talked a lot about the architecture of the building, which I mean, I'm into design and I think that was all cool, but I was really interested in the spiritual aspect of everything that went on there. And, you know, he's, a, he was a 70, he's a seventies of the community of Christ. And honestly, I don't want to say anything bad about him. He's a nice guy, but I just didn't feel when he talked about the temple, I didn't feel the spirit when he spoke, um, and stuff. He was kind of funny and made jokes and stuff like that a lot, pretty much the whole time. <laughs> he went really fast, but he spent a lot of time with us, but he was trying to cover a lot of stuff and he did, but there's stuff that I would never remember about the architecture or the architects. And, you know, I remember the, you know, Millet and he's the one that was like the main dude, but, um, so, I mean, I get it. Their church, um, the, the things that we hold sacred to us that happen there, they don't, they don't hold sacred to them. So I can see why they don't really talk a lot about it. He did talk briefly on it, but, um, that's, that's about it. Um, so when we, we went up the, the stairs, the one of the sides of the railings is, is original. The other railing is not. So that, that was really beautiful. The, the, you know, the wood carvings are really, was pretty. The temple was, was beautiful for back then. It was beautiful. Um, but on the third floor is where I had, it's really strange was where I had the strongest impression. And, you know, my heart just swelled. Like, you know, when you have like a really strong feeling of the Holy spirit for me, like I just really get this, like, radiating, you know, feeling in my chest and it just kind of grows. And so as I was walking on the third floor and I'm walking through each room, cause everybody's art, I'm, I'm taking my time. I'm trying to like absorb it, absorb the spirit, like listen to what's come thoughts coming into my mind. So I'm, I'm trying to like absorb all this stuff. He's way ahead in front with everybody else talking. And so that's why I kind of hung back is because I wanted to feel something. <laughs> and I did, I did, I definitely did. So as I'm walking through these rooms where they used to like have school and classes and stuff, and I walked to this very back room, cause I really didn't know what happened on the third floor necessarily. Like the other, the school, it was a school and stuff. But as I walked into that last room, so I kind of missed some of the stuff he was talking about. Heard him say, this is where, you know, you guys believe this is where Joseph Smith had a revelation about Alvin and blah, blah, blah. And so I wasn't quite sure what all that was because he, he rambled and I was like, what was he talking about? That third room that I was in, he says, was Joseph Fielding Smith's um, junior's office. But that was the room where Joseph Smith received revelation about Alvin, Alvin and if he would be saved because he wasn't baptized. And so that was, oh, I just had a thought come to my mind as I'm telling you guys this, an impression. And maybe the reason why I had such a strong impression was something happened to me when I was baptized and my daughter was baptized and I had a really strong and huge, one of the biggest feelings I've ever had happened at that moment and maybe that's why I had such that strong impression in that room because it pertained to baptism um I don't know that's just what came to my mind just now as I'm talking to you and um I I did that's that's how what drew me back into the church was the fact that I had a spiritual experience when I was baptized at eight that I never forgot and I knew was the Holy Ghost. And I knew that that feeling was only because of the power of the priest to it. And I knew that's how I knew the church was restored was because of my baptism. So maybe I had that strong impression there because it just reminded me, maybe it was just another conference. It's another confirmation that the church is restored. That's maybe that's why I had such a, you know, cause I was wanting to have, I was wanting to have a strong impression where Elias and Jesus and Elijah and Moses all appeared, you know, I wanted that, you know, so, um, I did have a strong impression. I'm not saying I don't, 
downgrade that one at all, at all. But I'm going to have to write that in my journal and see what else comes to my mind. But I know that when I was baptized and my daughter was baptized, I was overcome by the Holy Spirit so much that it took my breath away. And um, I know the church is restored. I know it is. I know the keys are restored. Without a doubt. It's hard. This trip's been kind of hard because, you know, it's it's hard being around people who are don't believe, that aren't believers. It's hard. It's difficult. And my heart's changed so much that I'm just not the same person that I was. I'm, I'm just not. But, um... Anyways, um, I'll post some pictures. I got some really pretty pictures of the grounds, the sky, um, and the stores and, and like all the buildings. So I got some good pictures of the sawmill and all that. You guys, you're going to love them. You're going to love them. So I will post those to the Facebook group tomorrow and, um, which is Thursday, um, so as soon as you're watching this, they'll probably be posted the same day is what I'm thinking. If I don't post this tonight, I'll post it tomorrow with everything else. And so I'm going to get out. I'm going to go see what's going on at the Morley farm and do a video for you guys. Uh, so beautiful. You're going to, you're going to die when you see this field and the trees. Uh, so anyways, thanks for watching you guys. Um, I'd love to hear your comments on what if you've had, if you've been to Kirtland, what your experience was, was like, share it with us all who are on the channel. I'd like to know. So it was really cool. Um, I just didn't really feel the spirit when he was talking to us. And, um, I saw a lot of questions about some things, but, uh, it's really cool being on sacred ground. I went to the cemetery and saw where Emma's twins were buried, where Hiram's wife was buried where um oh i can't think offhand but anyways i'll post pictures of that of their grave so stones too so all right you guys have a wonderful day stay blessed and be good as usual